I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Far away. <laughs> well, I, okay, I no, Coach, what do you think about the uh, overall game? Uh, it was very scrappy. The wind obviously plays a major factor in the game, and uh, you know it was always going to be tough. You know, given everything that, that happened today, it was always going to be very difficult for the girls to focus and, and maybe be motivated like we normally would. But yeah, I thought our team showed again what kind of courage they have, what kind of desire they have, and how, how tough they can be to to come out today and play with the, the intensity they did. And uh, Illinois is a great team. It was a very, very close game. Certainly could have gone both ways, and we're just thankful at this stage to advance to, to Sunday to face Maryland. Coach, I, was, I wish I could ask you about moving on to Sweet 16 and other stuff, but talk about your day today. I saw you at the press conference this morning and the emotions and the roller coaster ride of the day. It, it's very hard to express in words. Um, you know, I, I, I knew Coach Budke and, and Coach Sona very well. They're two. They were two wonderful human beings, full, full of uh, light, enjoyment, upbeat, and you know, just to think that you know they're, they're not around anymore is just devastating. It's, it's just something that's very hard to express. And you know, uh, as a coach who works in that profession, it's uh, you know, it, it, it's just it really hits very very close to home. Uh, you know that you're off doing your job, and the next day you're, you're not there. It's just. Uh, Again, it's difficult for me to express in words. It's just very sad, and um, I certainly feel for for their families. And um, you know, it's just something that nobody should have to go through. Was the uh, the wrestling matches and when his basketball are canceled? Was there any discussion of the match not happening tonight, or was it an NCA decision, or what? Well, you know, Jason Lewis, our administrator, we talked this morning um, after the news broke, and um, basically, you know, we talked about what to do and. I, I think from the president's office to the athletic director's office, I think everybody agreed that, that the game should be played because it was an NCAA tournament game and it didn't just affect Oklahoma State. You know, we had three other teams here plus all the other brackets that would be affected with, with postponement. So um, I think it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, we talked with our team before the game about, you know, using this as, as a way possibly to bring a little bit of happiness to the to the OSU family for, for just a brief time. and. Uh, Coach Holder met with our team before the game and expressed his desire and felt that Coach Cern and Coach Budke would want us to go out and win the game um, and maybe just uh, let people forget for just a few minutes. Um, you know, there'll be a time for us to grieve with everybody else, um, but we were just, uh, you know, happy is not the right word, but we, we got excited about getting out there and playing and, um, you know, if, if it if it helped these guys for just a little while to be able to focus on the game for, for a bit, then that, that's probably a real positive thing for us. For the players, how difficult was it to mentally get ready for this game after after that tragedy? Um, I would say early on, early in the day, you know, obviously um, when we all found out that it was very difficult, you know, you kind of put the game in the back of your mind and that's what you're thinking about at, at the moment. But I think, you know, um, once we got in the locker room and we're getting ready for the game and after uh, uh, Coach Holder came and talked to us, you know, we just really focused in and I think his speech really um, got to us and just uh, focusing in on the game and how they would want us to be focused and uh, come out with the W this uh, game. So I think um, once the game kind of rolled more around, we were more focused, but we were definitely um, grieving with the rest of Stillwater early on. Eddie, you got a shutout in this game. How did it feel to get a shutout against a team of such high caliber? Um, I mean, speaking of the incident that happened, um, I saw a basketball team come out through um, when I was going in to get ready, and you know I gave them hugs and and told them I'm there with them, and we, you know we all put the cowgirl family on our wrists, and you know that really stepped up for everybody and helped us out, like deep down and there's that belief that they're right there with us and that's how I felt tonight and you know every save I made I just felt like there was someone that right there with me and I think that's what helped us out with the shutout and the team was good I mean they put some nice shots on frame and um but it was a great win to come out of. Talk about the um, you mentioned the wristbands did everybody wear those? 
Yeah, we also um, did ribbons. Um, some put them on their um, jackets, and it's kind of kind of falling around. <laughs> but um, you know, um, everybody that um, was affected by it is in our hearts, and you know we'll continue to pray and go to the next game. Whose idea was it for the ribbon? It's a team, yeah, yeah. It's a team group. You know, we have like seven seniors. They have leadership. They all come with different types of things. So, you know, it was a little bit of everybody's input and in what we should do. So, after when you scored that goal, did it feel sort of bigger than it was? Did it sort of feel like for the whole Stillwater community? I mean, yeah, with the whole day going and kind of had other things in your mind than usual. Usually, you focus on the game all day and no, no other things going on. And with Coach Holder coming in, I think it put a little more pressure on us because everybody was looking at us with all the other games canceled. So yeah, I think it was big. Melinda, um, you knew Coach Bucky better than most on the team by playing over in freshman year. I mean, what's something that stand, stood out about him from your time interacting with him? He, um, something that stood out from, for me personally is he was just uh, very loving, very open, very approachable with all the girls. Um, a lot of the girls I know looked up to him more as like um, a second like father figure. He was very, he wasn't really, you know, because basketball is a little different from soccer. It's a bigger coaching staff. So you have the coaches that are maybe more tougher. And Coach Butke was kind of more the laid back um, kind of one that you could go to and talk to. He, um, he was always more joking, never really that. If he yelled at you, he'd be like, oh, it's OK. Like, you know, I didn't really mean it or something like that. He was very laid back, um, very approachable, just a very loving guy, very good person. Many, many told me that she clearly liked the basketball staff better than the soccer staff. <laughs> And I, I agree with her. I like to walk out of the <laughs> How difficult was it to hold off that pressure in the last 10 minutes uh, with, with just that one goal to manage? I mean, it's always difficult, especially when um, a team is coming down um, blazing because they, they have nothing else to lose. You know, they push them up, go at them. But um, we hung in there, um, found a way to stick it out, and that's what we can. the only thing we can ask for. And, um, hopefully that'll continue and we'll learn from it, if anything, and go on. He, 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 he kind of asked this, but at the same time, you, you have to be thinking as a defender and you as a goalie that, oh, we, had, we held off that last charge and, oh, no, here they come again. I kind of wish that someone had a camera on Coach Carmichael. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they did. <laughs> but you talk, talk about that there was no really break that last ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, because I was up tough. <laughs> <laughs> are, in, in our defense, we actually we, we put Annika in for Megan real quick, just to give her a little breather. And we thought it would be a two-minute breather and get Megan back in. Uh, but Megan checked in to sub back in with nine minutes left, and the ball never went out of bounds in our favor, so we couldn't sub her. So Megan stood there for nine minutes ready to go in. Basically, what we wanted to do was put Annika in the midfield and Megan back up front and play with an extra midfielder and one less forward to try and soak up the pressure. But... That didn't materialize, so Annika got stuck up front for 15 <laughs> minutes, and we may not be looking at that on Sunday. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Marilyn started as and saw Annika up front. <laughs> well, speaking of all this stuff, you guys aren't done. Unlike Illinois, you guys move on. You know how how important is it to move on, play, face Maryland on Sunday, who who obviously uh, had a big one uh, right before you guys. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what the NCAA tournament's about. Illinois are a great team. There's no doubt about it. I don't think they've been beaten in 13 or 14 games coming in. And they, you know, they beat Penn State and Notre Dame in their last two games. They're two, you know, top 10 programs usually. So um, it's always going to be very difficult. And, and the, the, the whole key is just to advance. You don't always have to play your best soccer in a tournament. You just have to win. And uh, I think tonight was a case of that. We certainly could play better, but I'm not sure we could play any tougher. We, we hung in there and played played a lot of heart. Um Maryland looked great, and same thing, though they had a knockdown drag out with Auburn that could have gone either way, and, you know, Auburn was another good team, so once you play these games, it's it's all, you know, all the games are going to be very tight, they're going to be very competitive, um, and, you know, it's it's about matchups, it's about what system they play, what system we play, who matches up better with whom, so we'll expect another close one on, on Sunday. And